I'm putting these hands on you. I'm taking that hat. I'm taking them Jordans. You don't have a choice. I'm running up on you. You look like a you look like an easy mark. Um, so but, even look, with so, but, no, but so wait, but on. wait, but even with that mm. example, I hope that my son lets them have the hat or lets them have the Jordans because this could be life or death because okay. they may have mm. a gun. Okay, so, so it's, sometimes it ain't worth the fight. I get so that. So you got to be smarter. So and you got to know how. Hello there, and welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chan. I am a loving mother. I am Tabitha <laughs> Brown. Go ahead, Tab. Go ahead. I am Tabitha <laughs> Brown. This is my husband who likes to fight. Go ahead. I'm Chance. What's up? As you notice, he got a Frasier shirt on. That was just by coincidence. My but- Angelo, <clears throat> woman of peace. You know what? Please don't hit me, but bring the beat in. Hold up. Got to get the beat right. Can I have my drink and stuff here? Let me see. Got to check the bass out. All right, here we go. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. Ba-dum, bum, bum. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. All right, y'all. So we're gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lead this one because Tab is already in her feelings. So, as y'all know, Quest plays. Excuse me. Quest plays basketball, his, and he loves basketball. So his, his dad, I'm oftentimes concerned about him only focusing on basketball so early in his life. So prior to pushing record today and us setting up, I asked him, <clears throat> um, what a, what a, nope, let me do it. Well, you just I, said I, something I, that wasn't, hold on, wasn't hold on. true. What? You said he only plays basketball and that's not true. <clears throat> what? Okay. He played flag football. He played it. But what I'm getting at is, like like we did, we sat down and we had a discussion about flag football, where at that point in the year where I'm like, hey, what, what is something else that he can do <clears throat> so he can have other things that he's doing outside of basketball, mm-hmm. right? So <clears throat> while thinking about that, I proposed uh, self-defense, right? And... You see this right here? See this right here? They see the lip and the nostrils was flared up a few minutes ago. Just the idea of her son <clears throat> encountering a punch or anything. This. See how they right That's there? Right why. there? No, no, no. So why? Then, why don't you tell them when you try to teach Quest? Self-defense in the backyard. No. And what he did when he was in Krav Maga, which is also self-defense that he did for a year. He's done this already. Tell him how he acted. Okay. What did he tell I've you? I've shared the story before. Tell right? him again because maybe somebody no, didn't hear it. So, look. When Quest was about... Eight. I think he was like seven. He had a, he had a, he had a situation at school. And he um, he was getting bullied at school. Right. <clears throat> and uh, I was trying to teach him self-defense like I did my my daughter. Right. When those situations happen, they happen. Right. So. Long story short, what I learned is that Quest is different from both of my girls, different from me, um, different from anything that I encountered as a young person. He looked at me back then and he after going through and doing exactly what his daddy said, you know, uh, he told me that he wasn't going to hit anybody. Right? <clears throat> he said, Dad, you don't hit people. You don't hit people. Right? So I, I landed on and ended on, he was just, he was going to be different. Um, because, it, because at that age, I didn't feel like it was necessary. He's about to turn 12 now. Um, testosterone, uh, uh, that, you know, puberty is right around the corner. 
things of that nature. And I deal with the youth. Um, and I can I see I see children in a different way. I'm not promoting violence. Right. I just made a suggestion to my wife that this could be something that we could, you know, uh, put in there that could be useful in life. <clears throat> the debate is if it's necessary or not. Right. My wife asked me, she was like, did anybody teach you how to fight? And I said, that's a yes and a no question, right? Because when I was growing up, my first fight, right, was my first fight was uh, with a family member, my cousin P. Dale. Now, if he's watching this, anybody can go to him and he's going to tell you that this is, the, this is the truth. This fight was encouraged by our older cousins. Um, and I don't want my son to encounter or learn self-defense or, uh, uh, you know, in the way that I, I, I did. Um, I think it's necessary, and I think that uh, it could be preparation, a preventative measure on how to handle himself, um, and he's not surprised or caught off guard. I think it's necessary for a couple of reasons. He is, I, I, I don't believe in, in starting fights or um, promoting violence. However, I grew <clears throat> up as a black man in this world, um, and some things are unavoidable and it's re and, and you need to be prepared on how to handle it mentally, how to how to deal with the stresses that come with it physically. Um, and that means also um, knowing how and when to deal with the idea of. Uh, what is it? Uh, the run of flight, uh, fight or fight flight. Or flight uh, Thing. Get, get your butt up out of there, you know, being able to engage when you when it, you know, when you need being able to know when you need to engage and what you and how much to engage those kind of things. So <clears throat> it was something that I proposed. But what is your thoughts on it? Um, firstly, I love that you mentioned fight or flight. <clears throat> That is a natural instinct that we have. It's just something that happens. Uh, I never took self-defense, but I can look if you buck. It's a natural thing. We got sisters and cousins and is growing up, I was a tomboy, rough housing, like it's just- With, with who? What do you mean? With who? Yeah, please. Just to let him let us, let him know who with who, like you said, you know how I said I with, with P. Dale was my first encounter. Right, you said your boys and girls okay. from <clears throat> Zanya, Muffin, my sister Tasha, my neighbors Frankie, Fonte, Ricky, like everybody. Okay, right. Yeah. I am also understanding that our son, who is I want to be a hundred percent clear, he ain't no punk. He ain't scared. He has shown that. You just said that actually the other day. Like, hey, I ain't got to worry about Quest. Quest, he, 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 he ain't scared, right? I think he's highly capable of taking care of himself if something happens. I think he did the Krav, which was self-defense when he was younger. Um, and I think he is well aware of how to protect himself, right? I think that we have to have, I'll say this, if he said to us, I want to do a, a fighting class or a self-defense class, I'd be all for it. But my son has clearly stated and shown himself to be compassionate. Uh, which is also very much so like me. Um, he doesn't feel that there's a need. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. For fighting. I just got that one right there. Wait, wait. What? Rewind. Go, I'm very go compassionate. Back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're saying I'm not compassionate? Well, <laughs> you said that. No. <laughs> but you sing about I said that he's compassion. Like, that right? You prefer. <clears throat> 
as I was saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. He <laughs> is, it, it's just not his thing. And I don't want him to think that fighting is how he solves his problems. I think that a lot of times um, that's what's kind of taught to kids. One thing, self-defense is, is cool. But then there's a, another thing where it's like, oh, to take out your frustration, hey, hit the, hit, hit the bag. Well, in the heat of a moment when you're frustrated, if there isn't a bag present, will something be made the bag if there's no self-control? Now, if we want to teach self-control, if there's a self-control class, um, where there's like more critical thinking, more things that are really challenging, where it doesn't just result into, oh, this is how you defend yourself or uh, fight um, out of frustration. I, I just don't want to create a wiring that can be done incorrectly, right? That's that's my thing. I think that we're we're so far away from how we grew up that is just not necessary to to add on to it. Now, if it was like a uh, like a karate class or something, right? Where you know martial arts, they have a, a certain type of peace and understanding. And there's a rule behind when it is used, what it is for, um, and self control is taught, right? I asked, I said, well, what about karate? You said no. So you're strictly talking about self defense, which I get, and I know that they also do that at school. Um, and have done that over the years. Do, I what, think, do what at school? You remember when he used to go to Superior, they used to do the self-defense. Uh, the people would come to the school to teach self-defense to the kids after school. They would have the, the program during school, and then sometime after school, they would have that program. Oh, no, I don't remember that. Well, they did. I don't remember them teaching no self-defense at school. Yes. <clears throat> so I just feel like that's... I just feel like it's enough. For me, I'm like, well, we're going... If we need another extracurricular activity, let's do something in the arts. Let's do something that's going to expand the brain a little bit. So um, you think that he has, in a, so in a nutshell, what you described, first and first, this is what I heard, mm -hmm. is that Quest is the best candidate for self-defense. Uh, the, the best person for self-defense is a person who is, what did you say he was like you with? What was the word you used? He's compassionate. Compassionate. A compassionate mm -hmm. person, right? The person who can express compassion, right, <clears throat> and <clears throat> is not out for it, and in, in alignment with what I said, a person who doesn't want to hit people, right, mm -hmm. is a perfect person for self-defense to me. That's that's he's a perfect person for it who understands that it's not a it's not a uh, uh, an aggressive thing. You're mm -hmm. reacting. It's not a proactive thing. You're reacting to something where you and you need to be able to practice control mm -hmm. the control aspect is what i would love for him to learn when when and how the discipline associated with it is why i thought that he would be a good candidate if you say that you think that he is done in his learning or this is what i would ask you do you think that because he took that course while he was nine right in uh, the jujitsu for one year that that has equipped him enough, right, to where he doesn't need any more of that. And, and prior to going into junior high, <coughs> going into high school, do you think that he has had enough? I, or, or with, in, obviously in company, with what we're going to continue to teach him? My personal <coughs> opinion is yes. Right. Okay. But again, if he said, I want to do self-defense classes, um, he doesn't feel prepared. And that may be a conversation we can have with him. Um, then I, I would be all for it. Right. Um, and then how much of that? But I don't think it's something that needs to be beat into him. <laughs> Nobody said beat into No, him. when I say beat into him, I'm like, I don't think it's something that he needs to keep having to do every week. For another year or two years or three years, I just don't think it's necessary unless it's going to be something he's being trained to do, like 
karate or yeah, well, you know. that's what I, I mean. It's it could be that's just a difference when you said karate and I said no. That's just a, a preference of self defense, mm -hmm. right? You got different ones. You got you got different uh, in the martial arts mm -hmm. arena, right? And boxing gets a bad. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Boxing. Gets, I don't want to do it. Boxing I don't want to do it. Gets a hey. bad rap because nobody talks about the art, right? There's a misconception that it's not in that family. That is that it's an aggressor, not. A reactive thing, I, I, but that's just a choice. That's just one of the ones that we could choose. You got different ones. You got jujitsu. You got uh, what is it? Taekwondo. You got karate, and then you have boxing. Right. The only reason I suggested boxing is that most people it is it's a, it's a little <coughs> bit more appealing to them. Jujitsu and and all the other ones, the ground, the on the ground, and all the stuff that I learned, all of that. That's more aggressive. That is more of a you go to me. That's just that's just an opinion. But but to me, <clears> boxing <throat> is not self defense. I know. Right? I get that. That but, but that is. That, but but that's contradicts what you're saying. You saying he needed some self defense. Boxing is you putting on gloves. It's you know what I'm saying. Did you hear the other part of what I said? There's a misconception where people can't see the art behind it. Now everybody's I, opinion. I, listen, I love <clears> this. The I, I'm I'm okay with the art of boxing. I grew up watching it. I was a fan of it. Um, do I want my son to do it? No. But is that going to teach him necessarily self-defense? In my opinion, it is, it's going to teach him how to box. Right? Yeah. He can stick and move. He can, he can defend himself in a boxing match. But when you run up on some street fighters, it's going to be natural instincts. That boxing stuff, you try to be cool and, and do all that, that's gonna work for a little bit. Okay, so look, so so you're saying that you right there, that comment you said you don't think it will work. You don't, I don't think it's you'd rather his natural instinct kick in than opposed to him having some kind of training. Is but that I what you're think saying? He but he does have training. <sighs> I don't want my son. Hey, I don't want my son fight. I don't want to be that's, fighting. That's just that's 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 first and foremost, right? I think your childhood was a lot different than a lot of people. Okay, I think you fought way, way more I, than most people, right? <laughs> this is just I'm just being honest. I think that you unfortunately had to do a whole lot of fighting. That ain't my son's life. By the, my son about to be twelve. He has never had to have a fight. By the time you was twelve, you can't even count how many fights you were in. <laughs> that ain't my son's story. I get that, Tab. So, <laughs> he can definitely have a class that's going to teach self-defense and self-control, restraint, mm. all that stuff again. He can do that again if you feel that he needs it. However, I don't want to ignore him when he says he does not like the idea of hitting people. He does not like the idea of fighting, right? I feel that we can encourage something else. If you're going to give him a, another day of doing an extracurricular activity, let it be something that he chooses, that he enjoys. That's all I'm saying. I also don't like the idea of my son getting hit in the head with no gloves or without them. I don't want him to get in no fight, but I be thinking about all the boxers who got head issues. You know what I'm saying? Like my son already got a big head like his mama. I don't want it, I don't want it to get bigger. I don't want it swole up. I don't want him to have any uh neuro problems. I don't want none of those things that already cause concern. So the extracurricular activity, <clears throat> right? When we say that, okay, what if he chooses? For his extracurricular activity, I want to play video games. No, he he knows that's not it. Okay, so we listen. We, we I'm know. going somewhere with it. I'm going somewhere with that. We want something that's going to be beneficial for him, right? So the decision can't be ultimately made by him, right? If we want something, because if we because if we let him do it, right? He, 
All I'm getting at is a decision. We have to play a role in his decision making now, right? So, of course, but so, I, you can give him <clears throat> options that, and let him choose from a couple of things and see if anything interesting. But I also believe, yes, of course, we we make decisions for him now. But I also believe in allowing a child to speak and tell us what they're interested in, and us pouring into that thing. I I agree, right? I agree. Pour it into that, okay? But also being able to have used the knowledge in our years on this earth to know that there's going to be some things that he's not going to be thinking about, right? That even, even with not comparing him to my life, right? Or your life, right? There's going to be moments where he's going to have encounters that he's not going to be able to avoid. He's not going to be able to avoid. If you want him to just use natural instinct, right? Your natural instinct. That is where I'm saying, I don't think that that's wise. And if we're saying that what he's learned so far is enough and because his life is different from ours, I think that we are choosing the wrong route. Like we're choosing the wrong, his, his life is obviously better. His life is better than ours, right? But <clears throat> we don't know what the future is going to hold, but I can tell you this. I've yet to meet the person who, who has never encountered a physical altercation just because their life was better than their parents or just because. It's not, right? not, it's, it's not about their life being better. It's about it being different. Different. Right? So he is... <sighs> I know plenty of people who've never, ever been in a fight. Way more pe I know way more people who've never been in a, in a physical fight than I know people who have been in fights. I would love to ask those people. Um, have you ever played a couple, of, a couple of things? Have you ever played a physical sport where tempers and mindsets, people lose control of those things? Have you ever been taken advantage of physically? Right. It's a I would love to ask those people in hindsight, looking at it. Right. Would you have wished that you would have been prepared? Did you not fight because or you weren't ever in a fight? Right. Or did you have, or was it because you didn't know how to fight? Did you get taken advantage of because you didn't know how to fight or did you? Do you feel like you lived a fruitful life or did you avoid situations where you could have been in where you wanted to be because you thought, I don't want to be hurt, right? It's a couple of questions that come to my mind with that, right? And that's not me saying to that person, by any means, that you should have went looking for a fight, right? I'm not saying that, but I'm not saying that. I don't want my son to go look for a fight, but I want my son to live the life that he wants to live without fear and when those circumstances present, present themselves to be able to assess that situation and know I'm going to walk away from this. Right. I'm I'm going to walk away from it. I've assessed it. This is not worthy <clears throat> of fighting or I'm not going to be able to get out of here and I can get hurt if I can't do the bare minimum. Right. I want him to know what that is. Right. And you see what I mean? So I'm not looking. Yeah, I'm but not, and that's what I would ask those people. <clears throat> But that doesn't, to me, you're saying, what that sounds like to me is, if you knew how to fight, your life would have been better. No, you, you no, I would ask them. Or, or I'm you, not saying that, I'm not no, saying, no. I would love to meet the person who went throughout their life, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say that what you're saying is not true. I don't know anybody like that. And they may put me at ease, right? I would love to hear their story. Um, but I would have those questions like, you know, right, how did you I'm, go your entire life without an the, encounter? You know what I mean? But how <clears> can <throat> it, is it possible that it's not about, I assess the situation and because I can't fight or I'm afraid of getting hurt, I'm going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to avoid it. Right. How can it, is it possible that it can be, I'm just making a smart decision for myself. I don't want to encounter that type of energy. So I'm choosing to go a different way. I'm choosing not to go there. 
instead of it being about fighting at all. No, no, I, I get that, babe. But I'm talking about the encounter, right, of, hey, you don't have a choice. I'm putting these hands on you. I'm taking that hat. I'm taking them Jordans. You don't have a choice. I'm running up on you. You look like a you look like an easy mark. Um, so but, even look, with so, but, no, but so wait, but, but wait, but even with that mm. example, I hope that my son lets them have the hat or lets them have the Jordans because this could be life or death because okay. they may have mm. a gun. Okay, so, so it's, sometimes it ain't worth the fight. I get so that. So you got to be smarter. So and you got to know how. So look, so look, so listen. So if instinctively he's never encountered it, mm -hmm. okay. And he says, no, you ain't getting it because he's never been. Nobody has introduced it to him. Right. And he gets himself hurt. But that's right? a conversation that you have as a father, as a mother. That's that, okay. they're not talking about that in the self-defense. All right. Now, yes, they are. Yes, no, they are. How, I mean, that's critical thinking. Yeah. But that's what, critical I'm, thinking no, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is I get if They give you the scenario. But what we're talking about is in a self-defense class, this is the scenario. If this happens, this is what you do. How to get yourself out of it in that, right? Uh-huh. In self-defense. Okay. What I'm talking about is as a mother and as a father, critical thinking, explaining to our son, hey, listen, it's the same conversation we have with our young black son about police officers, about uh, being in the wrong neighborhood, being able to to check your surroundings, check your surroundings. the yes. exact same types of conversations okay. will be had and with have us. to be had with us about if somebody, listen, you'll never know if somebody got a gun. You'll never know if they got a knife or whatever the case. Sometimes fighting is not the option. That okay. is not the thing that's going to keep you alive. Sometimes we, we may have to. It's fight or flight. So look, you run up on them, okay? You run up on them, right? How to protect yourself if you're getting jumped. How to, you, you want to leave it to instinct. You're just saying, okay, we, we prepare them here in the house. Critical thinking. Somebody run up on you and they don't have a gun, right? But they just mm -hmm. decide you're the easy mark. You're the nice guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put these hands on you. You want, he can't get away from it. Okay. He can't get away from it. You the dude. Mm -hmm. Your people got money. You got it. I don't like you for no. I don't like you. Right. You are. You exactly what I wish I had. I don't like you, and I ain't got to give you no reason. Mm -hmm. Give me that, or I'm gonna smack you. <clears throat> and now you say, and now you say, man, I'm gonna give it to you, man, because my parents raised me better than that. Here you go. That, that's no, 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 not hold what on, I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My parents raised me better than that. My daddy and them told me to avoid it. We can get another one. I can get another one. I ain't going to, because you could possibly have a gun. All right, hold on. So now, you know what? I'm still going to whip your butt. You know why? Because you put up 40 points on me, and I ain't like how you was talking. You was talking that trash on the court, and he <clears throat> go to put hands on him, right? And he tried to walk away. I'm going to turn, walk away, and get knocked out. Then he come home and say, son, what happened? I gave him a chain, dad, but the dude just didn't really like me, man. And I was trying to avoid it. I ain't want no trouble or none of that. And, you know, so he got your chain. And then what'd you do, son? I tried to turn and walk away when I took my eye off of him. He knocked me out. So you gave him a chain, you turned and walked away on him. You, you gave him a position of advantage and he knocked your ass out. Okay, son, well, I'm glad you're all right. Okay, so... Because he's been the nice guy, right? He's been the nice guy. He's been the kid who, peaceful, since you were seven years old, boy, you had that look in your eye. You were, you were great, right? So then, what? Right? That's the, 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 but what you are insinuating is we've given our son no common knowledge of how to exist in the world. There would never be an instance where we would tell our son, to take your eye off somebody if they encounter you in that way, to, to turn around okay. and walk away and be at risk of getting hit in the back of the okay, head. Okay, you looked him right in the face. You tried to get away. Yeah, so but, my, my but point even is, if, a, if a fight presents itself, I'm not saying, oh, back down from every, if that opportunity happens, if something happens, I'm saying that is not always the answer. 
So I, I get that. That's the point I'm trying to make. It's not always the answer. But, but we are preparing for the worst. That's what you are. Yes. You want to prepare always for the worst. You want to put him in more self-defense. If you don't think so, so you clearly don't think he can take care of himself at the age he is at with the training he has had or with the natural instinct that he has as he grows into a young man. You think he still needs uh, more self-defense classes? I think I don't think that the lesson is done. It's I not done. He's only he's eleven. I'm, I'm, about I'm, to be twelve. I'm, I'm, calm down. I'm answering your question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that the job is done. I think in his yeah right now with his current group. If we are being proactive, right, if we're being proactive and want to get that lesson to him early and while he has time, this would be a great opportunity, right, to do it. In his current situation, if we just want to prolong, you know, put it off, it's not, he's not at dire need right now. It was just something I was proposing. I'm not saying I want my son to go out here and start swinging on folks. He, I don't, he don't need to go. I, he ain't got to go train with the best. However, I would love for him to go and be able to get in there with Mayweather and Mayweather put, teach him how to toss them hands. But I'm just saying that was my first thought. It's all right. Maybe go get him on something now. And and and, and I'm, I would never do it to where it was like, this is what you're going to do. Right? I would love for him to have uh somewhat of a desire because where there is a desire it's easier for him to learn and retain it i don't i wouldn't want to push i wouldn't advise anybody to push their force their kids to do anything um but i don't think that the, the that all of the decisions should be up to him um i think it, it you know at this point this is where he needs the parenting the most um and not just in self-defense. I, I mean, and we can, I was asking, and I thought it would be good for others to get into it, but um, that's just my thinking. But you got like, I can feel like a little, little heat coming out for you. A little heat. Ain't nobody gonna punch your son in the head, babe. Give me a kiss. You, you, no. Give, give me a kiss. No, you give trying. To make my son into a fighter. No, I'm not. And he has told you he doesn't want to do that. All right. <clears throat> I'm not trying to make him into a fighter, babe. We're gonna, we're gonna, what you we're gonna what are we gonna put him into? He in contact sports into? already. Which lead to physical altercations all the time. I feel he's going to see enough. He's gonna develop. He got natural blood instincts from me and from you, especially your side of the so family. So do you want that to be untamed or without? Or do I don't you, think it's untamed because he's already shown us he doesn't have a desire for it. Has he had moments at school that he can protect himself already? And what the principal say when they call, he's never done this before. So we know that, you know, the kids were bothering him okay. and he protected himself. Did he not? And didn't get in no trouble because they know my son be about his business of peace. I think that sometimes what happens, especially for, for young boys, right? Um, and he's so blessed to have an amazing father. But I think that sometimes we force traditional things on little boys like fighting or self-defense when they don't necessarily desire that and it can create something else inside of them that they don't like how it feels. I don't want to do that. I think we can also encourage a different behavior and be smarter than your opponent so that fighting ain't always the answer. Can we sometimes not avoid fights? Absolutely. Sometimes it's inevitable and they will happen. 
But sometimes they won't. Sometimes we can live a life that it won't come our way based on the energy that we put out into the world. I truly believe that. Yes, there are going to be incidents where it just happens, right? Evil will always exist because good cannot live without evil. But do we want to put something or, or feed him something that he doesn't have a taste for? That's, that's, that's just my, my thinking. No taste at all? I'm just or, saying, like, if, if he's, he's had a taste of it, he said he don't like it. When? Three years ago, right? Right. Okay, so we. So we but also, I, I even at school. No, I remember, when, remember when he got into it with the little boy last year, right? Or whenever it was. Yeah, it was, well, not last year, or the year before. Whenever his last year at, at Superior, fifth grade, because he's in sixth grade now, but we're in the new year. He didn't like how it felt when he, he smacked the boy. Remember, he didn't want to, but the boy wouldn't leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Right. It bothered him that he, even then that he had to defend himself. To, to me, that's like saying, I'm going to ignore everything that you told me. I'm still going to put you in this class, even though I know you've had it. I don't know. It's just something some about it don't necessarily feel right to me. However, if my son showed me weakness, which he does not at all, there's nothing about Quest that says weakness. If he showed me signs of weakness that I didn't think that he was going to mature. Like right now, I see so much strength in him that I know with maturity, it's only going to get stronger. He is a very much so strong young man who shows me all the signs that he knows how to take care of himself in this stage of his life. I, I can't imagine it stopping there. I can only imagine it getting better as he ages with also with great parents. Yes, we could probably put him in self-defense class and, and he would be uh, even more equipped. But if he doesn't enjoy it, if it's not something he wants to do, are we really equipping him? I don't think it needs to be. So, uh, like I said, before you said all of that, I would ask him, and if he didn't express any kind of desire, mm -hmm. I would explain it to him why I felt like it was necessary. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't force it on him, but as his father and me having his ear and his respect, mm -hmm. I think I can engage a portion of him to where he could see where it would be useful. And as we started the conversation, it's not something that I want to do to consume all of his time. And with not occupying his entire schedule with it, I think I could, I think that is the is the line of where you come in as a good parent and you're not pushing something on him, but where you are now uh, introducing something to him and getting his support, getting him to buy in because I'm meeting him halfway. This is one of those things where Whereas a father where I'm saying, this is me looking out for you as, and, 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 and pouring into the man that you're going to be, but not killing your childhood. So son, I need you to try to find a way to commit to it once a week, right? Um, and we're gonna have fun with it, right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, as I've said and said throughout this conversation, I wouldn't force him. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't force him to do it, but I'm not, I wouldn't, just because he said, no, I don't want to do it. Stop trying to father him. Right. I'm going to father him at that moment and say, look, let me let me let me let me open your eyes to this because you're 12 um, and you, you may not think about this. Right. And that's that's how I would do it now. And then after that conversation, and I would like to I would like to believe that he's mature enough to understand that. I, I agree with you. He's very mature. He's very uh, um He's he's a he's a great son, right? So, but I would like to believe that I have a rapport with him to where he can actually hear that and hear that you still have an option here. I'm not trying to. I'm not going to be upset if you don't want to do it. Um, and then if he said that I I, I don't want to do it, right? I was and then my, I wouldn't make him do it. However, 
I still, that wouldn't change whether I thought it was necessary. Um, I still feel that it's necessary, but that is what we call marriage and, and, and relationship. I'm not looking for you to agree with me at all times. If you don't think that it's necessary, then it is what it is. We would have to just agree to disagree, but I wouldn't force it on them. Um, and I would just pray that at some point, um, or I would pray that I'm wrong. I hope that you know he can live a, a life like the people that you are talking about where he never encounters anything. I just don't have that kind of uh, thinking. But <clears throat> I would just pray that my son never had one of those encounters um, that I have witnessed or been unfortunately called to or been victim of. Um, I, I, I pray that God don't ever put him in one of those situations. But I think it still was a good conversation. Um, I still think that we, I mean, and we can, we're going to obviously explore other options, but um, I think it's worthy of us talking to him about it and seeing where his head is right now. He has surprised me in so many ways over the last year, just in maturity and then with some of the things that uh, he has introduced to me in discussion that kind of, I'm like, man, I never thought you thought like that. So, um, that's just my thinking. Uh, now give me a kiss. Uh uh, with the lips. <laughs> I'm giving it to you. Nah, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Here. Why you roll your eyes? <laughs> I didn't roll my eyes. Yeah, you did. The camera ain't. I just lie. cut. You em. rolled your eyes. No, I cut them. No, you rolled your eyes. Give me a real kiss. Bay. Kiss. Kiss. Right here. Now, you know they're going to, you say, see, you being ugly. You, you being You're going to leave ugly. my son alone. <laughs> nobody messing with your son. Hey, uh, this woman is crazy. Keep in mind that I'm a mama and I'm sensitive about my kids. <laughs> uh, now? All right, man. Close the show out. Tell the people this. Mm. Tell the people. No, you you had a whole lot to say. You close it out. <laughs> Los over there Damn. fighting for his life. I ain't punched <laughs> your son. I ain't did. Yo, you sure all ain't. I, all I <laughs> <laughs> go ahead now, babe. Close out the show. I love to hear y'all's. I would love to hear. I mean, I got a, I got an idea. There's gonna be a few people who going I think it's a. I think it's great yeah. both ways. Contrary to my energy. Um. I am <sighs> I'm very passionate about my children. And while everything you said is a possibility, we are also really raising a young black man who already got so much against him in a world that was not designed for him to live this beautiful life of peace. And at 12 years old, he's focused on peace. And I don't want him to lose that. And so when I think about fighting, he's going to spend the rest of his life already fighting for acceptance and being seen and understood. So I just want one less thing for him to worry about as a young black man. And so right now when I know he say he don't want to fight, I just feel like I don't want to make him think about it. I know he's going to grow up and I know that we want to make sure he's safe. And I do. I want to make sure he knows how to defend himself. But the greatest defense we all can ever have 
is peace and peace of mind. Because when nobody can take it from you, they can't win. No matter how physically strong a person is, your opponent, if you got peace, they can't win. And I don't want to take that from them. That's what I want to feed. And so, if he can do something that involves peace within defending himself, like some type of martial arts or a different kind of self-defense that he enjoys, I'm all for it. But that's what makes me so passionate about it. And I also know the difference in what anxiety has done to, like even with, with choice, when I think about her, we taught her a lot of things to be afraid of. And I also saw how that turned into anxiety for her. And I don't want that for him. So I'm trying to protect this peace for as long as I can. That's it. I love to know what everybody think. But yeah. in it, so I ask all the married women or spouses or uh, people in relationships. A lot of times what, what I'll see in the comments is uh, you'll give you a version. Ask your husband and put both, both answers. Ask your boyfriend. Your, put, let us know what both parties say. I would love to know. I, I'm, I'm just curious to what you think about this conversation. Yeah. There you you good? Yeah. All right. Go on ahead and close this on out. <clears throat> well... Start my self-defense class tomorrow. Don't do that. <laughs> Just close us out. We hope you enjoyed it. Bring the beat in. I did not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all going about y'all business. Friday, have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's Friday, him. Okay. Very good. Love y'all. See you next time. Uh, thank you for watching this episode, honey. And if you liked it, go ahead and click right here for more of those episodes. And if you haven't already subscribed, please remember to do so. Very good. <laughs>